EJ here from the back porch with another case knife video. All of our followers seem to really love case knives, and I've told you before that I have a small collection of case knives, and I thought I would present them to you today. I've got a lot of other knives, um, but um, I love case knives. But one of the things about being in the business is that you can't keep the good stuff, otherwise, you don't get to uh, acquire that profit. Uh, so when I get a good knife, I sell it to viewers like you and people who are looking for the good stuff. But I do have some keepers, and most of them, most of them have familial connection. So I'll tell you a little bit about my connection to these particular knives. Um, the ones that are keepers with anything that I keep are a, a sentimental piece. Now, the ones on the left, for UK knife people, you understand, you know already that those are the tiny toothpick. That's the style of that particular case knife. And um, my wife's mother started getting me those for my birthday present several years ago. And uh, these are the ones that I've gotten from her. So all of these are from her over the years. And um, I really, I really have enjoyed collecting those and look forward to getting many more in that way. I have uh, limited myself in not buying any for myself, only acquiring them from her uh, as a gift. Uh, I've kept all the boxes, which, as you know, if you're a knife collector, uh, might not necessarily facilitate more value, but kind of makes it more fun. But I've got all the boxes for those. Out of all of those, I think the orange one looks pretty cool. It's a limited, uh, you know, I guess that's technically a, a synthetic handles, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it is a limited edition of like one of 3,000. Uh, but I really like this one. This is the latest one. I just about dropped it. They are pretty small. Uh, but she got me this one this past year, and it is a uh, bone handle, stag handle with a Damascus blade. Um, again, a lot of our tried and true case knife people uh, really don't necessarily like the new knives. Uh, they like uh, the old knives, and I do too. Um, but for a birthday gift, I can't think of anything better. That, and she normally takes me out to eat and I get a good steak, so what more could a guy ask for? How much more America does it get than a case knife and a ribeye, right? So I'm thankful for that. I do have a great mother-in-law. Uh, so the rest of these, actually this, was a, this one was a gift from my wife. Um, she knows I like the University of Tennessee football program, and um, this is kind of UT Orange, so she got me this trapper for that. Um, I think she actually intended for me to carry it, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. I'm also a fan of local history, and Case Knife did a, um, I guess people had them ordered uh, promotional for our area, Greenville, Tennessee, and um, they have gotten kind of got the... Uh, uh, Pearloid Handles, um, Mother of Pearl, and that was to celebrate our 200th anniversary as a uh, town, which would have been 1983, I do believe. So pretty cool piece there, Greenville, Tennessee, Case Knife. I looked for one of those for a pretty good while, but I collect Greenville stuff and a few Case Knives, so that's where that one came from. Uh, the rest of these are family pieces. This uh, piece belonged to my grandfather. Uh, actually, um, these two were his carry knives. This was a collector piece of his. Uh, my grandfather's name was Brent, Brent Swatzel, and his, um, my son is named after him, Ezra Brent. And uh, this is a pretty cool old uh, stag-handled uh, case there, uh, 1905 to 1980, 75th anniversary. Cool piece there. And then we've got some of his carry knives, the three-blade three whittlers. Uh, let's see, that's a one-dot, which... Uh, would have made it, what, 1971, if the best of my math is correct. Seems like all the farmers wanted more blades. And this is one that he carried more. Um, can't really even see the logo on that. It looks like it's X's to the side, which would put it, what, 60s or 70s? Um, three blade, but look at that blade, how much it's been sharpened. Now, in a monetary world... This knife, probably not worth a lot of money because it's been sharpened and and that blade there might have even have been broken. Doesn't have a lot of, you know, pop to it. A little bit. Handles are worn down. But that knife is priceless to me. I wouldn't take $100,000 for that knife. Um, but, you know, if somebody were to offer me that, he would probably not appreciate it if I didn't take it, but Anyway, and, and this was his father's knife. And this was my great-grandfather Swatzel's knife. I guess that's technically a slimline trapper. It's a 1940 to 1964. 
uh, red handle case. And again, as far as monetary value, doesn't hold a lot of monetary value, but that's not what collecting is about. Uh, every piece is a memory. That's kind of one of our thoughts here at the Back Porch Antiques. It's why I do what I do, because every piece is a, is a memory. These blades have been whittled on. Um, I'm certain they've cut plugs of tobacco. I'm certain they've peeled apples. Um, it's hard telling what else on the farm they've probably done. Um, but this belonged to my great-grandfather and will belong to one of my kids one day. See, check out that blade. It has zero pop. you got to push it all the way down. So from a collector standpoint, they're not going to pay you a lot of money for that knife. Um, but I wouldn't take anything for it. Every piece is a memory. So that's kind of my uh, my collection of case knives. Um, most of, all of them have a familial connection, except this particular Greenville piece, and it's just a, a local piece, and, and I love our territory. But um, if you've got any thoughts, you want to comment on those, feel free to give us a shout. Uh, are there any other tiny toothpick collectors out there? Uh, just give me a shout, and uh, the CJ from the back porch will catch you next time.